very heavy leg kick early on here. Garner teeing up. Whoever is faster, stronger, and smarter, he's the one who wins. Just two days before facing his toughest opponent yet, Kamal Shalarus does anything but rest. I'm doing kickboxing today, mixing that with wrestling. Kickboxing, boxing, wrestling with jiu-jitsu. Yes! After all that, I still have to lose 12 pounds in the next two days. It's just starting. My pulse is racing, but I'm very ready. I'm ready for this fight, mentally and physically. Trainer Elton Wells dictates the pace of training camp. Normally we train longer. Um, thing is like right now, which is a couple of days from weigh-ins, you know, we're, we're gradually bringing this weight down. And while we're bringing this weight down, you know, his energy gets lower. The Prince of Persia, come on, Shalaroos. Professional fighters must make weight the day before a fight or face financial penalty or even disqualification. 155 even for Kamal Shalaroos. His trainers keep secret the specifics of how Kamal drops more weight in 24 hours than most people do in a year. But one key is tricking the body into expelling water, and to do that, a fighter must dedicate himself. My older brother told me a story. It always helps me because I'm proud of my Persian heritage. I'm not afraid of any fighter in the world. My brother said that the Persian army invaded Greece. It was a force of 3,000 against 6,000 Greeks standing in its way. The general told him to burn everything to the ground. He told them that they have one destiny, that you must kill them all. I also have one destiny, to be the best in the world, and nothing, no one can stop me. It's that type of ferocity that makes many people see MMA in a negative light. Indeed, it can be brutal, but Kamal says the sports critics miss much of what goes into it. They don't see behind the scenes. They only see violence and aggression. But no, in order to do this, I spend about five to six months working hard. I am disciplined to train, eat well, sleep, and wake up early too. These are good things for living life. Exercise is always good. It keeps youth out of trouble, keeps them from smoking. There's nothing bad about sports. All of this, however, comes with a cost to the body. It's all ice. My coaches don't like me. They throw me in an ice bath for 15 minutes. We used to do this as wrestlers. But it was just cold water. It was cold where we lived. So I'd jump in cold water and swim. It was awesome, really nice. An ice bath in his hotel room seems a long way from the small village in Iran where he grew up. It was a very simple life, a relaxed, good life. We had a home. It was nice. No credit cards, no visa, no mortgages to pay. There was none of that stuff. My heart aches for that life. It's better, it's a good life. But this is good too. You have to see both sides. His months of training carried him to fight night on June 20th when Kamal fought former world lightweight champion Jamie Varner in Edmonton, Canada. The contest ended in a tie and both fighters went to the hospital when it was over. Kamal says he plans to return to competition and pursue his dream of one day becoming a world champion. Between fights, Kamal makes his home in Austin, Texas, where he loves the outdoors and spends much of his time hiking until he returns to his other life inside a steel cage. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.